Hi, welcome to EWA. This is Rachel and I will make an introduction to EWA Executive Dashboard. First, let's go and log into our EWA account. Go to EWA Control Panel and click on Executive Dashboard. The Executive Dashboard page consists of a couple of parts and I'll start with the first part in this video. In the first part, we have three cards that respectively are SKU status, buy box ownership, and pricing activity cards. The first card is SKU status card. On this card, here we have the total number of the SKUs. Here we have the pricing enabled SKUs, which indicates the number of the SKUs for which you have enabled pricing management. And here we have pricing enabled in stock SKUs which basically means how many of the pricing enabled SKUs are currently available in stock. And here we have two sync buttons. The first is for total SKU number. It's automatically synchronized every 24 hours. In order to see how long ago it was synchronized, just hover on the button. For example, for our store, it was synchronized eight hours ago. However, you can manually synchronize it whenever you want. To sync it manually, just simply click on the button and it takes a while depending on the size of your store, the number of the SKUs and also how fast Amazon delivers the data. It is the same for the second sync button. It's automatically synchronized every 24 hours and you can also manually sync it by just clicking on the button. Again, you can see how long ago it was synchronized by hovering on the button and for our store it is 3 hours 52 minutes ago. When it comes to the pricing enabled SKUs, they are synced every hour. By hovering on the info icon, you can see this info of sync period. In addition, please note that when we say in stock SKUs here, we both mean available and FC transfer SKUs. Here it is mentioned with this info icon as well. The second card is buy box ownership card. On this card we see how many of the pricing enabled SKUs currently own the buy box right here. And how many of them are chasing buy box is shown here and it is 350 for our store for now. Lastly, for how many of the pricing enabled SKUs there is no buy box is shown here. In order to learn more about no buyback status, you can read the related article for which I will leave the link below. On the bottom right side, we see sync related info again. Here it is written 24 hours, which indicates that, for example, in total, you have 218 buyback owner SKUs in the last 24 hours, 350 buyback chosen SKUs, etc. When we hover the info icon, it says that buy box activities updates every hour. So these numbers are updated every hour and on the card you can see accumulated data from the last 24 hours. The last card is pricing activity card. Here the first number shows the total pricing activities in the last 24 hours. So here, in this case, EWA has taken 57,067 pricing decisions. And the other two numbers shows us what kind of decisions those were. For example, pricing changes above mean price indicates that how many times EWA has decreased or increased the price between minimum and maximum price. And the last number, increased sales price, shows us how many times EWA has increased the price in the last 24 hours. Again at the bottom we see an info icon and when we hover on that we see the synchronization information. These numbers are synced every hour and as you can see this information belongs to the last 24 hours. The same logic we have for the second card. In short, with these cards, you can easily read this massive data in seconds. I hope this video was helpful to you and see you in the next tutorial videos.